Today I'm looking at my view on the Mac and I'm going to be looking at timelines. Now there's a couple of ways we can create timelines. One, we go straight into a timeline and start defending it from there. Or we can choose a map direction and start working it off it there, adding the timelines, adding the dates and times, then transferring it to its timeline. But I'm going to start in my map today and show you how we can work from that and then send it to timeline and then even print it out. So select choose and we're ready to go. So for our start, I want you to go to this option here, document time scale. Really important you choose the correct one. Now, if you choose daily, then it will give you a daily timeline. Weekly, then it will give you a weekly timeline and so on. Now it's important you choose what you want to do at the beginning because you can't change it the halfway through. For example, if you start in daily and decide that you want to change it to weekly, any times and dates you've added will be wiped off and lost. So bear that in mind, really important. Make sure you choose the correct one. So I'm going to select daily, click OK, and let's start creating a timeline. So I need a title, so I'm just going to call this lesson plan, and we're going to start working off our mind map. Now, create a branch a couple of ways. You can click the enter key. You can double tap just the corner, or shall we use the shortcut key, which is enter, or you can go to insert, and select branch that way. So I'm going to put in here Monday so I know which day of the week it is first off. I'm going to create a timeline. We've got Monday so I need to create my first little task of Monday and that will be breakfast. Now again you can right click two finger tap insert and add a sub branch or come up to insert at the top and add a sub branch there. So I'm going to add a sub branch there. Click into your first sub branch and the first thing I'm going to do, which is more important than anything else, is my breakfast. You need a good breakfast in you before you can start moving. Click back on Monday, create another little branch. So I'm going to double tap the corner this time. And then I'm going to have my first lecture. So I'll just call that lecture one. Click back on Monday. Again, I can right click and create a sub branch there as well. And I'm going to have lunch. Again, really important to have a full stomach. And last of all, on Monday, create another little branch, double tap, and I'm going to call this Lecture 2 in the afternoon. So I'll just call it Lecture 2. See how we're starting to build up our map. Now, if it's a bit small, come down to the Zoom option here, or select that option here, Zoom to Fit, so you can see exactly what's going on. Right, so far, so good. Now I'm going to send that to a timeline to show you nothing actually happens. So select view and select timeline. As you can see from the timeline there's absolutely nothing going on because we haven't added no times or dates. Now I could click into the option here breakfast and I could double tap and I could start adding the times and dates. So I'm going to add one there quickly to show you. So first of all day one was Monday so that's day one. Click that to add time so I'm going to have breakfast at, shall I say, about 8 o'clock's fine. You can add minutes as well if you want, and even seconds. So there we go. Day 1, 0800, I'm going to have my breakfast. Close. How long am I going to spend having my breakfast? Select into end time. Tap. You can actually type into here if you want, if you don't have to keep using the slider. So if I click delete and put 9 in, I've now created... Day one, my breakfast starts at eight and finishes at nine. And I can close that window. And you can see on the timeline straight away, it comes into play. If you don't want a duration bar here, if I click off and on so you can see, it gets rid of the duration bar in your timeline so you can see how long it is, as so. So I'm gonna go back to the mind map. So go back up to view and select my map. And I'm gonna carry on working from this view select a lecture one so I know the breakfast finishes at nine so what time does lecture one start how about maybe scroll down to start ten o'clock sounds fine to me so select hour now make sure you select the day you see it's on zero we're working on day one all these activities are on day one which will be your Monday really important okay so click time Make sure you've got day one, and then I'm going to change that to 10, or you can type in at the top. 
If you just click the left mouse button on your trackpad or just the left button, it will go up one so you don't have to play around with the slider. And there you go. So start time will be 10 o'clock for my, there's my lecture. So I've got the start time. Scroll back down. So what's the end time? I'm going to say about two hours. So make sure you select day one because we're working on one task Monday, day one. And I'm going to select time, drag it along, and there we go, 12. So far, so good. So I've got my breakfast and I've done my lecture. And you can see the times here on the left as I click through. So now I'm going to go to lunch. So shall we say lunch 12.30? That sounds good. So click into the timeline info. Remember to select what day. Always important. It's day one again. And I'll keep going on about that, but I don't want to get confused. Leave it on day zero because it's easy to do. You can always go back and change it though. So select time. So we can select an hour. So we're on 12. So I'm going to make sure you do 24 hour clock. So I'm going to free. I'm going to make that 12.30 and again if it's 1.30, 13, 14 just make sure you get the correct 24 hour clock right, it's done so, I've got my breakfast and scroll down 8 to 9, lecture 10 to 12 and lunch starts at 12.30 now how long should I spend with my lunch? I think only half hour will be fine so again day 1, time and then we can put 1300 you can type in there or just drag the minutes up if you prefer or drag the hours up here but in this case I'm going to leave it on 12 and I'm going to change the minutes so drag the minutes round so shall we say about just before 12 so I say just before 1 o'clock and there we go close it and there we go 25 minutes lunch so far so good then lecture time say lecture's two o'clock in the afternoon and you know the procedure now clicking to start select the day day one make sure you select time and then we can work off 1255 so I'm going to change it here so I'm going to put 1400 and close and how long does the lecture last should we say day one again hours so we say two hours so I'm going to change for to 1600 and close and there you go you've just scheduled your first day then you can click on the middle one double tap and then create Tuesday and carry on working bit by bit all around your map by the way you want to click on an option you might go right what's more priority lecture lecture two or breakfast mm, that's a difficult one not for me. Breakfast. I'm going to select icons and I'm going to make that priority. You have a full stomach before you start anything. And then if you want to, you can actually colour code stuff. You want to colour bands for specific reasons. You might go, well, right, that's imperative. I'll get there. You might make that red, green, and so on. Or you might think, actually, I'm going to might skip lunch tomorrow. It depends how I'm going. Again, you can choose a colour code that you want to use. For example, maybe it's amber. Again, it's tidy down to you how you want to use that and work that. So, now let's send that to a timeline. This is the whole point, so we see it's a timeline. Go up to view, and I want you to select the timeline option. And there we go. How is it looking? Not bad. Not bad at all. So there's my daily task. Now you can use this option here, show duration bars. That will get rid of the duration and the time you're spending on those tasks, if need be. You can get rid of the title if you want. You can also select show time break. Also got your scaling options, so if I drag that in and out, you can scale in and out of your map. As so. Now because I've just done a daily one, now if I wanted a weekly one, then I already chose the weekly option there. So you can plan the whole month ahead. But remember, if I change it now, we're gonna lose everything. So bear that in mind. I'll show you that in a minute anyway click into the options here now we can start banding colors here if you want by coming down here and selecting fill colors there if you want them so you can make certain tasks stand out if required as so so you can even add like a shade if you want to change your border there as well if need be branch line 
if you want to change the options there. So you can see how easy it is to start planning your timelines. Now I'm going to go up to the option here, File, and I want to select Show Print View. Now, if I print that out, you're not even going to see it, are you really on a for bit of paper? I suppose we could turn it to landscape. Yeah, it helps a little bit. But why don't we spread it horizontally between more A4 bits of paper? Let's say 4. Should be able to see that pretty well. Then select scale to fit. And as you can see, if you print that out, you can actually see your timetable better. And you can stick that on your wall using blue tech or, or tape. And then all you do is click the print option. But I'm going to click close. I want to show you that option here. So on daily, you might go halfway for go, actually, I want weekly. So you select weekly. You get this warning up, any existing time information will be removed. Click OK, and you've lost everything. So I just want you to remember that. So let's now we're in weekly, let's go back to my map. And let's go back on breakfast. So now I'm in weekly mode, I can do the same thing again. So I've got Monday and start. This time you see it gives me more options. Now I've actually got the week, the day, and the time. So if I select that option there, I've got Sunday. So now I can choose the day I want. So I've put Monday there anyway. So I probably wouldn't even need that this time, but I'm going to leave that there. So I can choose week one. And not Sunday, it's got to be a Monday, hasn't it? What day is it? It's Monday, as you can see on my map. Again, enable the time. And what time are you going to have breakfast? Again, 8 o'clock and close. That's now been added, and when you're going to finish your breakfast, again, click on the option. We're on week one. What day was it? Monday. Time. And then you can choose your hour, nine o'clock. And it works that way again. So you've got to be very careful which options you use here, be it weekly or daily. Now, let me export that back to a timeline. So go view timeline and there you can see my timeline there so I'll let you play around with that so you can create such good timelines and you can even click into here and add them manually that way if you want to do it in a linear format there's a quick look at using timelines if you do get a bit stuck on a document time scale click a little question mark opposite it where it tells you exactly which one to use and what you're planning on doing be a historic timeline or standard and last of all just to show you what you can do with timelines because what I haven't shown you here top right hand corner if you click that little button we have an option there called media you can add clip art to your timeline so if it's a story timeline you can add a bit of clip art let me show you let's put Winston in see what we get of course the man of the moment hold the left button and then you can drag him onto your timeline so it's great for historic maps and they've got quite a lot of famous USA presidents in there they've got a lot of uh, prime ministers and historical people but if you can't find what you want it's not an issue because you can always go online to Google and download them and still insert them into your map so great for timelines as well hope it's a bit of a help just to get you up and running on there thanks for watching